So you're thinking about living in San Diego, but you want to compare San Diego to our neighbor to the north, Riverside County. So San Diego and Riverside County border each other. Today, we're going to dive into the differences between these two counties side by side so you can decide which one is going to be best for you and for your family. So I'm going to shrink my head down here um, and we're going to just dive into a lot of the data here. Um, I don't want anything to really be too opinionated. I just want to give you guys the cold hard facts and show you exactly what you can expect when you're comparing the two of these. My name is Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group, your guide to living in San Diego. I'm one of those rare born and raised San Diegans. I've lived here for 40 plus years of my life and I wanna share my experience with you so you could decide which place is gonna be best for you and for your family. Let's dive into the content today. So uh, we'll have links to all of this data um, in the description down below. So if you wanna dig into any of this stuff a little bit more, you're welcome to. Um, but I wanna just try to stay focused on the facts and let, let's look at what's really going on um, between these two different places here. So um, when we talk about San Diego versus Riverside, one of the things you know wanna look at is the population. San Diego, about 3.3 million people and about 2.5 million people in Riverside. I was actually kind of surprised to see that Riverside's population is that big. But one of the reasons um, that you're gonna run into that, I'm gonna actually pull up a map over here on the side, is Riverside County is much, much bigger um, than what a lot of people think. So um, Riverside County, when you pull that up, that actually extends from all this area over here um, around the, the Temecula area, Riverside, the city itself. But it actually includes things like Palm Springs, Palm Desert, La Quinta. It goes all the way out to Blythe. I mean, it pretty much uh, takes you all the way to the California, um, Arizona border. So when you're talking Riverside, you're talking a huge, huge county here that includes a lot um, of areas. When we switch over to San Diego County, for example, um, geographically, it's a, a significantly smaller area. So you have San Diego County only goes out here a little bit to the east. And then this other county that you run into um, out here is going to be Imperial County. So totally separate county where you've got uh, Riverside County going all the way to the border. So just keep that in mind when you're comparing these. And so I think that's a big reason why you see that you've got a, a population that is, you know, two and a half million people because it's geographically, it's a much, much larger area. Um, one of the other things that kind of stands out when you look at the population there, you're seeing that Riverside is actually growing a little bit faster than San Diego. And I think a big reason of that is we'll, we'll touch on when it comes to home prices is that um, it's a lot less expensive to live in Riverside. And as things have become more expensive in recent years, a lot of people have gone um, toward uh, area where it's a little bit more affordable. So that makes sense that you'd see a little more growth in Riverside than in San Diego. Um, we'll take a look at the median income here. So San Diego, you're about 64,000. Riverside, you're about 57,000. So not a huge difference there, but you're definitely gonna make a little bit more money being here in San Diego because well, cost of living's higher and we'll definitely touch on that today. Um, your median age is gonna be about the same between the two. Unemployment rate's a little bit lower in San Diego, a little bit higher up in Riverside at 6.9 versus 7.7. 7. Um, throw these median home prices out. The data um, from best places is not the most accurate. We'll dive into some better data sources here in a little bit. Um, and then the other thing that I really wanna look at is, is the comfort index. What's the weather like between the two of these? And you'll see the comfort index in the summer is significantly better in San Diego at 9.3 versus 6.8. So let's dive in and, and see kind of what the difference is here. And um, when we look at this, the comfort index is all about what's the climate like? What is it like to actually live here? Um, so when we talk about rain, rain is something that's not very common in either place. San Diego, 14 inches of rain a year. Riverside, 11 inches of rain a year. If you're coming from um, the Midwest, the South, the Northeast, you're probably laughing at those numbers. You guys are like, that's what we get in a day. Well, welcome to Southern California. It doesn't rain a whole lot here. So not a big difference there. I think the big difference you're gonna find um, is the temperature. So when we come down here and look at the, the weather highlights, you'll see that in the summertime, the July high in San Diego County is 81 degrees. I mean, that is a just great, great weather. Conversely, 99 degrees in Riverside County. So um, San Diego is closer to the coast. You get those nice coastal breezes. It keeps the climate a lot more moderate. Whereas when you go to Riverside County, you don't have the coast. You actually 
abutting the desert, so you're getting some of the desert wind. It's a little bit hotter up there. So um, if you're somebody who does not like heat, maybe Riverside might not be ideal for you. San Diego might be ideal for you. Um, winter time, 43, 40. Not a huge difference when it comes to the winter temperature, hence why on that. Um, on the index here, you're at eight and a half versus 8.4. So I'm not gonna see a huge difference when it comes to the winter time, but the summer, you're definitely gonna see a lot more heat when you get into Riverside County, especially because parts of Riverside County include the desert, Palm Springs, Palm Desert, Indio, Coachella, where the big music festival is. Um, so the temperature, you're just gonna get a lot more heat up in Riverside County. So keep that in mind as you're making your decision. Um, let's dive into cost of living, which I think is another really important factor. And so when we look at cost of living, um, they use 100 as kind of the baseline. So nationwide, 100, that's your, your median um, cost of living. California, we're looking at a median that's 149.9. And now you get into San Diego County, you're 154.4. When we look at Riverside County, we're at 129.4. So overall cost of living, definitely less expensive to live in Riverside County versus San Diego County. And then this goes into the data of groceries and health and housing and median home and all this fun stuff. And again, there's a link in the description down below. So if you want to kind of dive into all of that data, that'll help. But you'll see one of the biggest ones is housing, right? 259 over here versus 165. So that's one of the biggest factors that makes it so much more expensive to live in San Diego is the cost of living, like or the median housing costs, whether you're renting, whether you're buying, it's just a lot more expensive in San Diego because again, we got this beautiful ocean. Uh, pretty much, you know, any of San Diego County, you could be at the beach within 30 minutes for the most part, unless you get on some of the outlying areas where Riverside County, it's a little, most people that live in Riverside actually come through San Diego and go to our beaches, or they maybe go through Orange County to go to their beaches. So um, I just keep that in mind. We call it the sunshine tax here in San Diego. You're paying a price for that beautiful sunshine and the beach that, that comes along with living in San Diego. Um, let's dive into the housing cost a little bit. This is a website called zumper.com. I'm going to uh, move my face here a little bit so you can see this data better. So uh, median rent for a three bedroom in San Diego, you're looking at over $4,000 to rent in San Diego. And that's up 21% from a year ago. So it is not cheap to live in a, a three bedroom. And I, just to be clear, that's an apartment. That's not a house. Um, where on the flip side, if you go into Riverside County for that same three bedroom, you're only at 28, 25. So substantially cheaper if you're looking to rent and you've seen a, a pretty big increase as well. I mean, traditionally 15% increase would be a lot, um, but it's not a lot compared to 21. So you're definitely going to be spending more uh, money if you're renting in San Diego versus Riverside by a pretty substantial margin. And then we can look at the, the housing costs too. So I'm going to drop back down here. Um, San Diego, your median home price right now, you're looking at $910,000. That's up about 13% from a year ago versus $600,000 in Riverside County. So that's a huge difference. So much less expensive um, to whether you're renting, right? If you're renting in, in San Diego, you're 4,100 for a three bedroom and 910 for a median home price, where in Riverside, you're at 2825 and you're at 600,000 to buy. So all in all, substantially cheaper to live in Riverside County versus San Diego County. Let's look a couple other factors that you might want to take into consideration when you're comparing the two um, is let's talk about the crime rates. And again, this is all based on bestplaces.net's data. Um, so they rank these on a score of one to 100, one being low, 100 being high. Um, national average for violent crime is 22.7. San Diego's coming in at 19.7, Riverside 19.5. So both very, very similar when it comes to their crime ratings. Um, then we talk about um, property crime. The average is 35.4, San Diego's 35.1, Riverside's 40.2. So San Diego definitely gets the edge here a little bit lower um, when it comes to property crime. All in all, those aren't massive differences between the two, just a little bit of a, an edge to San Diego versus Riverside County. So there's that. And then here's one that, you know, most realtors probably wouldn't dive into this, but I'm going to go there because um, I'm not going to give you my opinion. I'm just going to give you the data. But let's talk about politics because there is, you know, a, a difference between the two of these. 
Um, so when you, we look at this, um, there's a little chart down here, kind of shows you where we fall on the, um, on the spectrum for the two of these. So um, San Diego County had about 60% of people voting um, Democrat versus 53%. Um, when you go up to Riverside County, you're about 37 and a half on the Republican side and 45 um, in Riverside County. So, you know, you're going to lean a little bit more on the conservative side when you go up into Riverside County versus San Diego County. And so I think, you know, if that's something that's important to you, I want to make sure that I'm giving you as much data as possible so you can really make the right decision for yourself and for your family. And so as we kind of zoom back out here, I hope I was able to add a little bit of clarity in comparing the two of these locations to you so you can really decide which one's going to be best for you and for your family. And if you want to explore this further, give us a call, shoot us a text at the number down below. That'll connect you with my team where we can learn more about you, your goals, and put a plan in place to help you accomplish those goals. And if you enjoyed the content today, hit the thumbs up button, let YouTube know. If you got some questions, throw them in the comments section. And if you want more of our content, we release videos every single week. You can always hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and YouTube will take care of the rest. As we wrap today, my name is Kyle Whistle with Whistle Realty Group, your guide to living in San Diego. I want to thank you so much for tuning into this episode. We'll talk to you soon.